So here's the deal. I got a giant freaking torch here that's kicking out over 500,000 BTU. And other than turning your driveway into an ice skating ring, this thing actually has a lot of different uses. And I'm going to show you just some of them later on in this video. But this is from MagTorch. It's called MagFire Plus. I'll put a link in the description below. I've been wanting one of these for a very long time. Now this one here is for professional use, but no reason why a homeowner could not have one of these. So you basically just hook it up to your propane tank. Yep, the same one that you hook your grill up to. It doesn't matter if it's a 20 pound, a 40 pound, a 100 pound, you can hook it up. And then you got a little igniter there and you just ignite it. And the whole purpose of having one of these is so you can burn, melt, or heat just about anything you want. And believe me, you will feel the heat coming out of this thing. Now you can see where it hooks up in the propane tank. You just make sure that that's in there nice and snug. You don't want any leaks. And then up on here on the handle, and then you can control the flow of propane right there from the knob. And then you pull that handle. Once it starts coming out, you ignite and it's ready to go. When you let go of the handle, and I'll show you this in a bit, you'll have a pilot flame. Now you want to make sure that you keep your hands far, far away from the end of that tip at all times. Even when you're done using it, it's still hot, but you got that really nice handle right here that you can grab onto, got some great grip, and you don't have to worry about it falling out of your hands. But right here, the first test, we do have some compacted snow and ice, and we're going to see what it does. That's a lot of heat. Now, I don't suggest you actually use this flamethrower for that purpose simply because it's going to refreeze and be a solid sheet of ice. I'm just trying to give you a visual that this thing is really hot. But let's light and ignite. I am having a bit of an issue though because my hands are frozen solid. Now, I'm squeezing that trigger and you can see that when I let go, you have that pile of flame, you pull that trigger again and boom, again, it is like the freaking jet engine. So this leads to another good use. Now I know it's winter, but in the spring and in the summer, you always get the grass coming up between the stress joints or, you know, on your patio. This is an excellent way of getting rid of those weeds. Instead of using chemicals, you just put this over top of it and literally within a second, it will kill them. So all between those stress joints in your driveway, your patios, whatever, this would work great. And yet here is another use. So a lot of people do wood burning. You know, when I make my distressed American flags, we sometimes distress them by burning them, right? In a smaller torch. But if you have a lot of wood or a lot of stripes that you're trying to distress, check this out. You can adjust this down all the way if you want or a little bit higher. And then you can distress that wood however you want. And speaking of burnt wood, that brings us to another awesome feature of this tool is if you're camping or if you're trying to start a fire, check it out. You light it, you pull the trigger, and it is ready to go. Now, this wood right here is a little wet, but other than that, I mean, if you're trying to start a campfire, this is the way to do it. And speaking of campfire, that brings you to another really cool idea. My 100% beef smoky that has been sitting in the freezer for the last two months. Yep, you heat it up and it's ready to go. Nom, 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 nom. I mean, it tastes like propane a little bit, but it's still pretty good. Nom, 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 nom. So there are just a ton of uses for these torches, whether you're on the job or if you're at home, maybe you got an anthill that you wanna freaking get rid of. They're really cool and you can use them for so many different things. Again, if you got grass growing in between those expansion joints or your patio or whatever, get rid of them. This torch is really, really cool. Definitely check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. I want to know what you think though. Have you ever used one of these? Are you planning on using one of these? What would you use it for? 
Now, if you could, please smash that like button. Don't forget to get subscribed and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any other tool reviews and videos coming your way. We'll be back with more soon.